Numericals on Snell's law. Light enters from vacuum to a medium of refractive index mu. It means this is a interface, interface that is the bond is separating the medium 1 and medium 2. This is vacuum and this is some medium. Light is entering and its refraction index in the second medium is equal to mu. This refractive index in the first medium since it is vacuum it is equal to 1. For vacuum the refractive index is equal to 1. Left into vacuum to a medium of refractive index mu. So this medium's refractive index is mu. This is mu2 is equal to mu. Mu1 is equal to vacuum. That is equal to 1. If the angle of incidence is angle of incidence, so light, light, light is entering like this from first medium. This is normal normal this is angle of incidence since this is a rarer medium and this is denser medium because this is vacuum it is some other medium so vacuum has got only refractive index equal to one rest of the medium the refractive index will be greater than one and after suffering refraction it is it will bend towards the normal because when light enters from a rarer to denser medium it will bend towards the normal and this is the angle of refraction it is given the incident angle the incident angle is equal to double the angle of refraction double the angle of refraction i is equal to now we apply the Snell's law Snell's law is always applied on the boundary separating these two mediums that is refractive index of this medium multiplied by sine of this angle is equal to refractive index of the second medium and sine of this angle that is you can say mu1 into sine of i is equal to mu2 into sine of r since mu1 is equal to 1 1 into sin i is equal to twice the refractive angle ref, angle of refraction mu2 is equal to given mu into sin of r you know sin of 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta it is given in the trigonometry you can refer my video mathematical tools in trigonometry all the formulas given with the easy way to remember so this is become 2 of sin r into cos r because sin of 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta. So we use this formula here. Sin theta is equal to mu into sin of r. Cancel this and cos of r is equal to mu by 2. Since cos of r is we, we, are, we, were, we are asked to find the angle of refraction. This is angle of refraction. So angle of refraction, angle of a refraction is equal to r, this angle, the angle made by the refractory with normal is equal to is equal to cos if it is equal that way cos of inverse mu by 2 this is the angle this is the angle made by the refractive angle when it is given the incident angle is double the ref angle of refraction monochromatic light falls at an angle of incidence i i on a slab of refractive index mu if reflected and refracted rays are mutually perpendicular find the relation between refractive index and the angle of incidence this is the interface and light is light is entering like this 
and entering the second medium. First medium, the second medium, the refractive index is equal to mu. First vacuum, first medium is vacuum. So its refractive index will be 1. And with respect to normal, it makes an angle of incident. It is also refracted like this, reflected like this. This is incident ray. This is reflected ray. The angle made by the reflected ray with normal is R. And after falling, it will, since it is from rarer to denser medium, it will bend away towards the normal. This is R dash. So, I is equal to angle of incidence R is equal to angle of reflection R dash is equal to angle of refraction A refraction and it is given The reflected ray, the reflected ray and refracted ray, both are at 90 degree. 90 degree. It means we can say from here, from here, this is reflected ray, this is refracted ray, both are at 90 degree, and this is R dash, and this is R. Since for reflection, angle of incidence is equal to angle of a reflection for reflection by law of reflection i is equal to r then this is the total degree is 180 degree so 180 degree is equal to this angle r dash plus this angle between these two rays that is 90 degree since both are mutually perpendicular plus this one plus r R, R dash is equal to 180, 180 minus 90 minus R is equal to 90 minus R. Now we will apply, this is some other medium, this is vacuum. When we apply Snell's law on the boundary, that is refractive index of first medium into sine of this angle is equal to refractive index of the second medium and sine of this angle that is we can write mu 1 into sine of i is equal to mu 2 into sine of r dash angle of refraction mu 1 is equal to 1 1 into sine i is equal to mu 2 mu 2 mu 2 into sine of r dash r dash is equal to 90 minus r so already the sign of 90 minus r refer trigonometry my videos on mathematical tools 90 comes mean this will sign will become cos and the angle comes as it is first quadrant this will be plus so this is equal to mu because mu 2 is equal to mu so r sin i is equal to mu into cos i or tan i is equal to mu. So angle of incident is equal to tan of tan of inverse tan of mu mu and i that is angle of incident is equal to inverse tan inverse of refractive index of the second medium.